Hey guys, this is Sopa Lope, and today I'm going to show you guys how to set up your Illuminator. So first of all, I do have you have your browser open, which I already have. You want to type in Illuminator Zone. Once that's typed in, you want to click on it says the EliminatorZone.com. Your search for illuminations. So uh, let's wait for this to open up. This is where I get all my Illuminators. Like my PlayStation Illuminator, Game Boy Illuminator, and all that stuff. So you want to click the one over here on the left, right here, which is Sony PlayStation. So that's the one we're gonna get today. And everything about that is right here. It's everything you need. So first, what you wanna do is click the one that says EPXE. That's the one you need. And you wanna click the one that says EPXE 1.70. Click that. Um, save file. We're gonna click save file. While we that happen, what is that? We're gonna click plugins, and we're gonna click. Um, you wanna get the plugin. So first of all, you wanna need is Aldo's memory card manager. Click that. Save file. Uh, you're gonna need a graphics plugin, which is the video plugin. You're gonna need Pete's GPU plugin 1.7, but the Pete Open GL2 PS. That one's for like fast computers. So if you have a fast computer, download that one. Uh, some pl a controller plugin, but if you want to do it, go ahead. But for me, for today, we're not. So you're gonna click download sound plugin, which you're gonna need to see Eternal SPU 1.507 Beta 2. Click that, and click save file. You wanna click the one that says also CD plugins. You wanna click the click P dot EOS P S C D R plugins. Click save file. Okay, once we're done, we got everything we need. So let's um leave that open. So let's. Go to uh down. Let's go to my downloads. Let's exit out of that, and then let's drag everything to the desktop. So you drag everything down, drag that down, drag everything you downloaded down to desktop. Oh yeah, you're also gonna need. You wanna type? I'm gonna put a link to the description for this. But so this is where you're gonna need one of these files, because without it, you're even with the plugins and everything you have, it's not gonna work on you. So. I you need to have this file no matter what. Since once you're on this website in the description, you want to click the one that says download zip file. Do not download that. Because that's just a program. They're just trying to get a program into you for you to have a program which you don't need. So okay, once we downloaded that, you want to drag it to your desktop. So you want to extract files, you want to extract them into a folder. So let's click. So first of all, you want to make a folder here that set you want to name it. Uh, I'm gonna name it um name E P X E. So you wanna uh extract files and extract them into the E P X E file folder. Once okay, let's wait for that. Since everything's extracted in here, okay. So first, you wanna extract the ZL file that I told you to get. You wanna extract that file. You wanna extract all these into the folder. Extract this one. So let's move all all the plugins fold all the plugins you download move them into the folder and then you want to click a file you want to click um extract here and you see all the DLR you want to click you want to drag them to the plugins folder drag them all to your plugins folder you want to extract here this is the memory card manager you want to drag it to the one that says memory cards and you wanna click that one also and click extract here. And then once you do you get a CD plugin, so you wanna click it into the plugins. And you need the SPU one. You wanna click extract here. And then once you got that, uh um, you want, where is that DRL file? Alright, so there's a folder. And click copy. Wait, actually I'm just gonna drag it into there. Delete. You can delete all the rest of the um, files that you don't need anymore. You can delete that. You can delete all these um, all these things. But if you need them, like you like, if it might not work on you, just keep them. But for me, I, you don't need them. So let's um, drag them all to the recycling bin. Drag that all to the recycling bin, and then there you go. So once we're done, you want to open up your EPXE. And then once you have it open, you should get a thing like that. If it says error, that means you did something wrong. You want to click the wizard guide. You want to click config. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I forgot. One more thing. You're going to need a BIOS file. So I'm going to, um, 
put um you want to type in BIOS file for EPXE. So once you get that, you were okay. So you want to click the one that says the VG illumination for nudes because I use this sometimes to help me around. But this website has this this tutorial has uh, the BIOS file, the BIOS file folder. So you want to click that, click save. Okay. So um, let's drag it. Okay. You want to drag it into your folder, and you want to click extract here. And then you want to drag this file, the bin file, into your BIOS BIOS file. Once you're done, okay, so once you're done, uh, exit out of the EPXE because it didn't work. Okay, there you go. And open it back up. It should work now. So once we're done, we're going to click config. You're going to click wizard guy, you're going to click config. Click that one you have. Click which one you have. For OpenGL, I have a Navita GeForce card, so just look at your computer, what kind of um, driver card it has, and then use that. So since I have a, a, a that kind of um, uh, visual card, I have to choose that one. So you want to click Config. You want to make it nice, so click OK. Then click Next. Then you want to click the SPU one. Click Next, and you click the driver. Click Next. Since I can't work, but you can config it, you have to config it. I'm going to click that one. Then click controller, you can con configure it also since I've already done it before. Then click done. So this is, keep in mind that you can always change your settings in the config menu before you start playing. And don't forget, you need to restart the arena. So if you have a problem saving and you're switching the memory cards, exit out of the game and then open it back up. Because, and this right here, the little X does not count as an exit. You have to click so let me um, get a game for example. I'm gonna get my uh, Final Fantasy game. Wait, let me configure it real fast to um, thing. Click config. I'm gonna click window mode. Click OK. Click OK. Then click exit. Open it back up. And there we go. So we're gonna click file. Run iOS. And we're gonna click run, run, run Final Fantasy 8. And um, it should work. Let's wait for it to load this game, and it is not gonna load like right, like right when you open it up. It takes a while, so you gotta wait for a little while. So there we go. I got Final Fantasy VIII to work. So yeah, guys, this is how you configure your EPXE, and I hope this guy was hope this was helpful to everybody who needed help and all that stuff. And see you guys next time, and bye bye.